Hey Libras, I'm here to do your daily reading. Let's go ahead and roll the Zodiac. We've got Strong Cancer, then we've got Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Pisces, and Taurus. Hope you're all doing well. Had a great night. We're going to move right into your reading. Here. Quick shuffle. Cut the deck. I hope uh, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Biggest collective here in the Your Empress Energy community. My biggest fans. I love you guys. So pat yourself on the backs. Give each other love. Whatever you got to do. I appreciate you. Your energy coming into this reading is Page of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, and then we have Two of Cups, awesome, Knight of Cups, a lot of emotions here, Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, this is looking good, Three of Swords, and Seven of Swords, okay, your outgoing energy, what you're currently in right now is the Page of Pentacles, and heading into the Page of Cups, so right here, um, I think you may have made a small communication with somebody, whoops, forgot to get your three outcome cards okay i think you may have currently be making a small gesture towards somebody um planting a seed is what i'm hearing you're planting a seed for the future so you may be giving somebody some information you may be offering them something that you hope will grow in the future and it looks like because you're exiting this is a wise choice I'm hearing it's a very wise choice. Okay, you do have some divine guidance here with whatever this is. You're sitting on a dragon, on a sleeping dragon here. I want to look at this card and look closely. You are sitting on a sleeping dragon. You can barely see it. Okay, so you can see the future, but you can't really see where it's going to lead. Okay, you really think that it's going to be good. You have a really strong sense, and you're right. You are right that whatever the seed is that you're planting right now, it is going to be good, okay? It's going to take you very far in the future if you nourish it and take care of it, okay? I do see the, like, this almost looks like the devil in here, these black horns or whatever. Um, so you are going to have to tend this, whatever it is, tend to it, Okay? Don't let it go by the roadside. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever offer you're making for the future, keep an eye on this. And it's turning into more, all right? So you're starting off with an intellectual or a financial um, seed, but you're offering your emotions with it too. And you're watering it. This is, this is what's happening here. And you're watching it grow. And this is about two people. This is definitely a romance. Okay. Well, yeah, it's definitely a romance. But I'm also hearing that there is a, a situation here for maybe just a couple of you. Um, that this is a friendship that's really going in a, a different direction. Okay. All right. So you've planted the seed. Now you're watering that seed. You've watched it grow. Um now you're assessing the situation. What do I need to keep to continue to have a happy um, relationship here? Okay. Now you've gone from the Page of Cups up to the Knight of Cups. Here is where you offer a cup of love. Okay. It does have you worried. You're all up in your head about this. You're worried about um, a tongue lashing because you did something that was hurtful. And left this person feeling, it left both of you feeling um, like you got your defenses up here. Hmm. There will be a victory. It does look like a very good um, outcome here. Um, if you guys can get past this situation, okay? Whatever the hurt was, I think you're going to get past it. Um, you're looking at ways that you can, okay? And I do want to point out in this Eight of Swords cup here that we have a swan that feels like it is stuck because it's surrounded by these swords, okay? 
But there's a hummingbird floating above it with a golden white light around it saying, and this is a tiny bird telling the big bird, why are you just hanging out there? You don't have to. You've got wings. Flap them and fly. If you don't want to fly, there's an opening behind you and one right in front of you. Take yourself out of this entanglement. Okay? Yeah, you may get scratched, cut up, and may get bruised a little bit, but you can get yourself out of this. You've got everything you need within you. So you know what you've got to do to fix this situation. Or, yeah, I really do hear fix a situation where there was heartbreak. Yeah, you're, you want to take it back to happier times. And this could be somebody from your past, too, that you want to repair this situation with. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start getting clarification here. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Want to try to keep this reading as quick as possible, too. All right, clarification of the Seven of Pentacles over the Two of Cups, please, for the Libra Collective daily. Lots of cards here. Wheel of Fortune, standing your ground, walking away from things that do not serve you, clearly communicating with your Two of Cups, and taking a leap of faith that things will move uh, in the future, okay? Move forward in the future. You definitely um, are headed in the right direction. Like I said, you have everything you need. And I just want to show you that justice is here, but so is the death card. So you have to put an end to something. Maybe it's a sense of you're losing your independence. Reevaluate what the word independence means for some of you. Um, yeah, I'm hearing strongly. I don't want to give up my independence. And in a relationship, you should never give up your independence. However, you should compromise on how things are done. And out of respect, you talk to your partner about what you're doing. Okay, not because you have to report to them. Nope, you don't answer to anybody. However, if you truly love somebody, you want them to know what you're up to. You want them to know why you you came home late or what's going on. And if somebody says, hey, why didn't you call me? They're not attacking you. They're, they were concerned. Okay, so that's not independence to not come home on time and then expect your person to be fine. That's just disrespect. And I'm not judging anybody here. I'm explaining a situation, explaining the mess, message here, okay? Again, you're going to have a victory. So I think maybe you or your person is realizing what I just said, okay? That there's a difference between losing your independence and being respectful, okay? So let's look at the Knight of Cups here over the Eight of Swords. It looks to me like you're worried about, you know, offering your cup of love, trying to offer a truce, and you're feeling up in your head. So what does this tell us? Oh, come on, really? All these cards? We do have the Knight of Cups, clarifying the Knight of Cups. Funny, imagine that. Clear communication again, okay? You can get yourself out of this. Let's restore things to the way they were, or you could be dealing with a child. You want to have balance, Um yeah, somebody's had a very bad attitude, okay, pouting, tied up in their head, eight of swords, eight of swords. You decided you're going to move on, okay? You need to move forward. All right, so that's the end result of that. Clear communication and uh, making a decision to move forward, okay? The longer you stay in your head worrying about whether your person's going to give you a tongue lashing or you're going to argue about something, the longer the torment's going to go on. Just yeah, the sleepless nights. Just move forward. Just do it, okay? Okay. I don't know why humans do that to themselves. We, we torture ourselves by not taking action. Action always resolves the situation. As long as we don't, as long as we think the process through a little bit, okay? Not months and years worth of processing before taking action. Okay, Queen of Swords and Six of Wands. Clarification, please. Queen of Swords, Six of Wands. Clarification, please. Thank you. Only a couple of cards here. <laughs> okay, so what we have here on the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Okay, so you may be dealing with um, a Leo. Okay, you could also be dealing with an older person. Um that is creative and inspiring, 
makes your heart beat a little faster. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's what I'm hearing. So that's for some of you. But what I'm seeing here is that there's been some secrets. You've discovered something or your person discovered something. I don't know which way this is. I can't tell. Okay. Um, but somebody here feels like there's secrets that have been kept from them. And what I'm hearing is, yep. So that whole thing of you, you didn't call when you were going to be late coming home now leads to this, your person or you going, okay, what are they up to? I feel like they're keeping secrets from me. Why can't they just be honest with me? That's what happens. Okay. Clear communication. We need it all times all times unless you're planning a birthday surprise okay and then you'd better be careful with that too because the more secrets you try to hide the more suspect your person's going to be <laughs> okay three of swords with a seven of swords three of swords with a seven of swords will you guys move past this energy let's get some clarification here of the three of swords seven of swords for the libra collective please Clarification, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, please. Bottom of the deck, protecting your heart, refusing to budge. King of Wands showed up again. Okay, so Libra. Whoever this King of Wands is, if this is your energy, this could be your person's energy, they are being divinely guided to, you or they are being divinely guided to make an offer, a truce, an apology. This is my apology card. I never see this card as anything other than I want to offer an apology and I need to be honest with you. I need to speak the truth with you. I may have to come up with a creative way to do that. But what I'm hearing is, is once you have this um, conversation, once this apology is made, somebody's independence is restored. They have a truer sense of what their independence means, okay? And that ends this vicious cycle that was starting. This may have gone on for a little while for some of you, but for some, most of you, this is something that just started, okay? And it's going to put an end to it now, like now, all right? Okay. Yeah. There's the death card. There's the end of it. Meet your goals. Ten of cups. Happy home. Happy life. Okay. So that's what that's going to be. Here's the outcome if you continue down this um, week. Down this path. You got the Empress. You've got the Tower. You've got the Two of Swords here. Okay. Now, I think it goes in this direction. So you've got blinders on about something. Okay, something in here is hidden. You don't know what it is. Okay, you suspect, you know, but you don't know for a fact. So it's keeping you tied up and you can't move forward. You're, you're feeling like you're just kind of stuck and holding your own. And it does have to do with love. We've got the heart right here. Okay, absolutely. And the moon, again, things that are hidden from you. The truth will come out and it's going to come out pretty quickly. Okay. I just turned, it's going to burn a house down. And I don't mean literally. It's going to burn an idea. Um, oh, okay. Like your independence, okay? Um, the way this person or you views independence, okay? That ideal is going to go by the wayside. And what it leaves behind is such a sense of abundance, fertility, creativity, feeling harmonious, changed. You feel changed. You feel better. It's kind of like a, wow, how did I never know that moment? Okay. All right. This is a great outcome here. This is a great outcome. I love seeing the Empress energy. This is the third time that the Empress has come out in the last three readings. So there is a lot of abundance going around, a lot of leveling up, glowing up, I'm hearing, glow up, G-L-O-W. Um, a lot of aha moments. Like the tower hasn't been like devastating. It's been more enlightening, 
in all the readings. Okay, that's really cool. That's that is really really cool. So let's be happy about that. Okay. No need to fear the reaper. No, that is not what I wanted to say. No need to fear the tower. Oh, that was a song. Don't fear the reaper. Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult. So if that song means something to you guys, okay, then this is your message. So even if your person sign, your sign's not here, That was my, this is meant for you, okay? Things will work out great. Empress energy is going to abound. Everybody's going to feel bound to, bountiful, abundant, beautiful, creative, happy. Let's see what's going on. Intention. Yes, you're going to be, you're doing everything with intention. You intend to set this situation straight. You intend to give, plant the seed. You intend to mind your garden so that you can grow these beautiful pentacles and make your relationship very happy. When you intend to do something, that's when the wheel of fortune favors you. There's a quote, I don't know if it's a biblical saying or, you know, or where it came from, but it says, God helps those who helps themselves. And that goes for the universe. Karma helps those who help themselves. You have to start the process. So if you think positive, then the energies that are out there the powers that may be, they're going to help you. They're going to want to see you succeed, okay? But you have to start by helping yourself, and that's what you're doing. You're setting your intentions to help yourself. Awesome. There's the spark. There's the wonderful spark. Yeah, this king of wands. So there's going to be a spark brought back to this relationship, okay? Awesome. Three and four adds up, and this is a spark of love. See that? Passion. I would bleed for you. I love you so much. Oh my gosh. You make my heart sing. That's another song that just popped in my head. But yeah, I mean, definitely this is a passionate... Um, I'm surprised the Emperor and Empress is not out here like last time in the last reading. That was for uh, Capricorn that I did. So... Okay, so we have, you guys are going to be coming together. This is beautiful. So whatever this was, okay, whatever this situation that felt like betrayal, heartbreak, hurt, pain, whatever, defensiveness, it's all going to be gone. It's all going to be gone and things will be infinitely better. I just heard. And the magic stream. Now, I to me, this is the pond of meditation. This is where you release all of your worries your woes and that's where you get your inspiration from and what this actually says from this uh artist is everything is connected through the unconscious flow or oh my gosh let me start again everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness okay so again i'm getting divine um backing here okay if you Tend your intentions, okay? Your intentions go into this consciousness, and then all of the energy works to help you achieve what you want. All right, my Libras, a long daily reading. Peace, love, and happiness. Have a great day. Bye.